Hey everybody, I'm Daniel from Space Doc. Now I realise The Last Jedi came out ages ago and everyone has said everything they could possibly want to say about that film, but I'm here because there's one thing that I'm frankly fed up with explaining to people on Twitter, so I'm making this video so that I can just link it whenever I need to. Star Wars is full of fantastical, unrealistic stuff because it is self-admitted science fantasy, and that's fine. And while I myself am not personally a fan of the second and third sequel movies, I feel like The Last Jedi tried its best to execute some very exciting and interesting ideas but didn't really stick the landing, and The Rise of Skywalker was essentially zero effort narrative flatulence. But there's one thing, one very specific thing that gets nailed to the wall again and again and again by people online who think they know what they're talking about, and that is the Star Fortress bombers from The Last Jedi. If I had a pound for every time somebody sent me a tweet saying, there's no gravity in space, they shouldn't have been able to drop those bombs, I wouldn't need to make these videos, I'd be set for life. But you know what? The bombs in The Last Jedi make perfect sense. In a world of fantastical nonsense, the one thing that gets repeatedly nailed to the wall for being unrealistic is the one thing that deserves it the least. The bombs are released inside the artificial gravity environment of the bomber, they fall from where they're suspended to the bottom of the artificial gravity field, they leave the artificial gravity field, and they retain all of their inertia and carry on as projectiles until they hit something. It's rudimentary physics. The law book even says that they are given additional acceleration by electromagnetic rails inside the bomb bay. But it wouldn't even matter if they weren't, because they would still build up that speed, they would still carry on towards their target using all of the acceleration they built up when they dropped from the top of that bay to the bottom. It makes more sense than everything around it. People can accept a flying planet that eats stars and fires the resultant energy into other planets, but apparently applying entry-level physics is in some way crossing the line. So that's it. If you want to attack The Last Jedi for not necessarily executing its interesting premise quite as well as it could, fine. If you want to attack The Rise of Skywalker for having had no effort put into its production whatsoever, fine. If you want to get together and laugh at how silly a concept Starkiller Base is, or how ridiculous it is that they built a thousand planet-killing Star Destroyers in 30 years, all of that's fine. But please save your energy and stop attacking this perfectly innocent scene for having the temerity to demonstrate that an object in motion stays in motion. This is Daniel from Space Dock, signing off. Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space! Thank you for watching Space Dock. If you're interested in supporting the channel, please do check out the links on the screen right now or in the description below for our Patreon and channel membership services. Anything you can pledge goes towards improving our team and our equipment and allowing us to put together bigger and more exciting video projects for you guys on the channel.